hello bosses welcome back to the channel so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to sew this beautiful corset top so in our last video we drafted out the pattern but in today's video we're going to be sewing the top if that's something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get this video started so i already have my pattern paper that we drafted in our last video i'll be leaving the link to the pattern drafting in the description box below so I'm just going to go ahead now and place it onto our fabrics and cut it out. And for this um, project, what we need will be your fabric. So right here I have my uh, Adire fabric. Yeah, so for this you need like half yard. That's what I made it of. For this, I made it of the scrap fabric that was remaining for my mom's dress that I made for her. So yeah, but we need like half yard of African print or whatever you want to make it of. You also be needing your learning piece. You be needing hair stay you need in boning of your choice so there are two types of boning here the one that you want to make use of that's what i'm making use of and you also be needing your wording to create your cups and also your pattern paper yeah so i went ahead and i placed my pattern paper onto my fabric and i cut it out added half of an inch at the top and bottom of the front cut out the lining piece did the same thing for the front basically just added half inch of allowance all around the pattern paper cut out the learning piece as sides for the parts we have added allowance to already and the zipper area i also have my fabric here which measures four inches in width and measures 21 inches in length and is folded in four i have four pieces here this is to create the strap so i'm going to go ahead now to iron interfacing onto my actual fabric that's the hair stay after i don't iron it i iron it to the back and also to the front so the next thing I'm going to do now will be to go ahead and join our pieces together. So the first thing I'll be doing here will be to join the center piece together first. After which I'll be joining the side piece to the center piece that I've been joined together. And also for the back, remember when we were cutting out our pattern, drafting our pattern, I kind of marked a portion where we we're supposed to slash through, but I forgot. So I'm just going to go ahead and just sew the boning onto the um, piece like that. So I also went ahead to cut out the wording for the bra cup we have number one and number two i cut out two pieces each i'm just going to go ahead and turn them back to my sewing machine and join it together with zigzag stitch i have a well-detailed video on the channel on how to make your bra cup i'll also be leaving the link to that video in the description box below but yeah i'm just going to go ahead now to join this together using zigzag stitch basically so after i was done joining our front piece this is what i have right here I went ahead and I ironed it down you can see this is what it looks like I also went ahead to sew the cups basically placing the right sides facing each other and just join it together by the half inch we gave I've already ironed one like so and I'm going to be showing you guys how I did it on the other cup so basically I'm going to go ahead now to just notch through the allowance that we have around the cup and the next thing will be to iron it down so to iron it you need your bust ham so i don't have a bust ham but i have this um thingy that i made so basically just a hair cap with scrap fabrics in it and i'm just going to go ahead now to just open up the allowance like so and press it down with my pressing iron after i'm done with the inner part i'll be turning it to the right side and also pressing it like so and that's basically how you iron your cup because it's not supposed to be ironed flat and after i was done making the bra cup with the wording this is what i have the next thing we to go ahead now to cover the bra cup that i made with the um fabric so just look for the bra cup uh, sorry the fabric that fits for each of the bra cup and just place it like so remember we give an allowance of half an inch round so you place it in such a way that you still have your allowance round place it onto the bust ham and also iron it all round so the bra cup kind of have like a shiny face so just place that right there and iron it until you see that it stays together as one piece doing this for both pieces so after i was done ironing the bra cup onto the fabric this is what i have so now before you can join your bra cup you endeavor to insert your boning so just go ahead to see your boning onto your boning channels or your, uh, the space you created for your boning but then do ensure to give half of an inch allowance at the top and the bottom and then sew it in such a way that it's kind of curved towards you i don't know if you get what i mean yeah 
and for the back pattern also so like i said i forgot to slash through so i can create portions for the boning but yeah i'm just going to sew it onto the fabric ensuring to give half inch at the top and half inch at the bottom for hemming allowance so yeah to create that portion so marking off my one inch and then my three and a half inches gives me five inch so at that five inch point that is where i'm going to be inserting my boning place it like so and sew it down like i said leaving half inch at the top and half inch at the bottom and after you're done at um, fixing your boning you're going to go ahead now to insert your cup i haven't fixed the boning yet but i'm going to do that but after you're done with that you then fix your cup so to attach your cup just try to ensure you find the parts where the cup joins together the parts where they are sewn and the parts where the um, under boss corset sewn also and then just sew it all around like so ensuring that the joint part that our seams aligns the cup and that of the under boss corset basically you'll be doing this for both cups and after all it's done this is what i have this is what it's looking like i've joined it together i also went ahead to insert the bone in for the back after i was done inserting the bone in i went ahead to also press it flat yeah i'm going to go ahead now to place the back onto the back and just sew it by the allowance i gave and after i was done this way it was looking like the next thing will be to place our learning and turn it inside out but before we do that we are going to go ahead and work on our straps so yeah this is the fabric we measured earlier like i said it measures four inches in width and 21 inches in length that's for one of the piece right going to go ahead now to just sew it together to create a strap and then just cut it in two so i have four pieces so i'm done turning three pieces so to turn this i ensure that one end was sewn and closed and then just make use of my scissors to push that end that was closed up through the end that is open and basically draw it out like so and there you have your strap so to fix my strap i'm going to go ahead now to just fix my strap at the position where i want it to be so for mine i wanted it to be at the left um towards my armhole area of my cup so place them like so for the front pieces two sides of the front while for the back i'm going to go ahead now to just close it up like so just so i know what um points to place it at another bottom where i want to place it at i'm going to go ahead now to just open it up like so and place it upside down basically like so pin it down and also repeat the same thing for the other side pin it down and now that i've pinned it down you just ensure that you um, bring all of the straps down like so and then place your learning piece on top of your main fabric like so you go ahead to sew along the top by the half, of half inch that we gave around the top and also all around the bottom but when sewing the bottom ensure that your straps are folded inside so you have the side to turn it inside out so i went ahead and i turned it inside out through the side and this is what we have the next thing we need to go ahead and just insert our zipper so after i was done inserting my zipper this is what it was looking like looking so beautiful like this looking so cute so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did do not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos you can do also comment if you found this video helpful that's why really it encourages me to put out more content and regarding the pants and the skirt i paired this top with i also have videos up on the channel on how you can make them i'll also be leaving the link in the description box below thank you for watching once again bye bye and see you in my next video Thank you.